Hey, what's up, guys? So in this video, I bring you another high kill. We were that one win. And I know a lot of you guys are probably expecting a Caldera gameplay today, but I'm going to be completely honest. The mode that we could play yesterday wasn't really my favorite. Although I did play it most of the day, I couldn't really get anything good enough to share on YouTube. So I decided to play a little bit of Rebirth Island and got this nasty gameplay with what I think is going to be the meta for Warzone in the coming weeks. The NZ-41 Assault Rifle from Vanguard is pretty broken, in my opinion. So what you guys are seeing on screen right now are the attachments I was using on the NZ-41. So for the muzzle, I was using the Stabilizer, which increases damage range and accuracy. For the barrel, I was using the 360 millimeter barrel for even more accuracy for the optic i was using the 2.5 times optic which i believe is going to be the primary optic that a lot of people use then for the stock the orb weaver stock for the extra ads speed and horizontal recoil control for the under barrel i was using the strafe angled grip for the extra accuracy and aiming stability for the magazine the 45 round mag now, some of you guys may be wondering why i'm not using a suppressor on this weapon and that is because for the ammo type you can actually use something that's called subsonic and the subsonic will give you no minimap ping while you're shooting which frees up an extra attachment slot for your muzzle for the rear grip i was using the leather grip for the extra ads speed even more Perk one acrobatic for mobility and for perk two i was using fully loaded because i feel like there's not really anything better to use if you guys don't have this thing fully leveled up i would highly recommend doing so because this thing literally does not move at all when you're firing it it kind of reminds me of the accuracy and the range that the growl used to have when it was meta but the damage of the ffar and i'm not lying when i say this guys this thing absolutely deletes people and with that being said hope you guys do enjoy the gameplay and as always thank you guys for watching the video on what's making that Uh, it's gone for at least one week, Butters. I should have mentioned that more in the video, like in the, in the intro, but it's gone for at least one week. I made a YouTube community post about it like a couple of days ago. So today is the last day that you'll be able to play Rebirth for at least one week. I believe it comes back on the 16th, maybe? I think somebody said that earlier. The 16th. This thing is so broken, dude. I can't wait to just use this all day, every day for the rest of my life. So good. They ruined rebirth. You know, people keep saying that like the rebirth is unplayable and like ruined or whatever. I I don't know like what you guys mean by that. Like honestly, I mean I I've been I mean I've only played two or three games, but nothing seems that different. We'll say these lobbies have been dying pretty fast, though. I'm not very happy about that. Not very happy of uh, UAVs costing six grand anymore, or uh, as well. I don't know if you guys know that, but UAVs prices have been increased in both Rebirth and Coldera. They are 6,000 instead of 4,000. Why they made that decision, I literally have no idea. It's one of those situations where my team is too good. All right, guys, I need to, I, everywhere I go, they follow me. I need to get away from these guys. I mean, he just saved my life. Don't get me wrong. I need to get away from these guys. They're too good. I don't like sharing kills. I'm surprised we lost that gunfight, though. I guess we had only two plates when I jumped to the window, right? I, I don't think I was fully plated when I jumped to the window. Is unmanageable to water guns, not sure. Find the core NZ like I did at the start of this game, you'll be fine. The four really NZ shred. I was shredding with it. I got my first like four kills with it. Striking your location. Thank you. 
Right in my French, but fuck that guy. Very much. Enemy UAV active. You gonna try to land and get your stuff back, Mr. Sniper guy? Hostile dropping into the area. Is that what Watch you're doing right skies. now? That's what you get. You're playing the way you play. <laughs> There's definitely a guy in here though. Oh my god, like how'd you get it through the wind? Is that the SCG? No, this is the NZ41. It's gonna be the meta. Bro, this is like one of those situations where you could have just ended it and landed back and gotten your guns. Ah. Uh, orange is down. Need some recon out here. UAV beginning flyover. I have, I think it is the real bear pig. They got me in that cross. I wish I was a real bear pig. Yeah, it definitely is. Fuck me, dude. Gotta get back out. Gas is inbound. Marking new safe zone. Allied cluster strike arrived. UAV is out of fuel. Teammates are cracked, dude. I mean, no reason to move, right? We might as well just sit up here. Teammates are actually really good. And gameplay, I mean, I guess that was the goal, right? Yeah. This is definitely the setup that I'm going to be using. I, I think I got the setup right first attempt, which is kind of crazy. This is the first, uh, first, uh, attachments that I've tried on this in Warzone, and I think this is the best setup that you could use, honestly. Niggas are wet. Contracts complete and payments released. Figure I am, yeah? 
You're losing ground. Move it. Taking the tunnel. Allied UAV overhead. Hunt them down. I don't like that. There's only two teams left. But the three people that are on top of each other, the entrance, and uh, let's just chance it. What are you guys doing over there? We got the win though. We got the win. Let's go, dude. I don't know how our teammates didn't shoot that guy, but let's go. 